although the assignments are all coming and you are full of stress, you still feel good. That's nice. <laughs> okay, uh, our last session today, so far, then only assignments next week. Okay, so we finished our syllabus today and as you see, we are going to pay in the restaurant. So yesterday, uh, you prepared a bit for our dialogues. We do today more dialogue, okay? So um, you prepared from our um, menu, right? From our menu, the vocabulary so that you can use it today and can order in the restaurant. So we do a role play today, groups, yeah? As uh, you, I think you keep the arrangement from yesterday. And then we are going uh, also to pay then our last part. Otherwise, you have to chu chipingan, right? Hmm. <laughs> so then uh, I started here of my, my PowerPoint with uh, the beginning, by right? How, uh, because this one is the last part, right? So yesterday we didn't go so far yet. So when you come to the restaurant, that is what you did yesterday. You check the menu, right? Die Speisekarte. Das ist uh, Studieren der Speisekarte. That is so conversational, let's say you study the menu, okay? So uh, this is what I found. It is so small written here from a language center. That is students work here, yeah? Something like you. So uh, that is quite nice. So I thought why not take it? And um, this is... Uh, a small dialogue um, in the beginning before you order. So you are talking, discussing about the menu, okay, the Speisekarte. Okay, can you just read maybe with two different people? They are not so difficult and long the sentences, so I think it's not a problem. Alfred, maybe? And here one lady, Teresa. <laughs> uh, anyone? You must only alternate eh, the sequencing. Let's have a look and then you can read the text. You know, you identify, identify your parts because I didn't write it so nicely under one under each other, right? <laughs> okay. Now we have to fire alarm or what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Alfred, you start? Ich habe Lust. Ich auch. Ich trinke ein großes Bier. Und du? Ich trinke eine Apfelschnur. Was ist das? Das ist Apfelschnur und Wasser gemischt. Aha, gut, Mann. Was ist das? Drinks. Drinks, ja. Ich habe Durst. What does it mean? Yeah, when you look the further up the dialogue, ich auch, Teresa says, right? Ich auch, ich trinke ein großes Bier. Ein großes Bier. Yes. Thirsty, ich habe Durst, I have thirst. That I am thirsty, yeah? ich bin durstig. Und, um, yeah, I think Alfred has to drive the car, right? He drinks soft drinks. So, Apfelschorle. Apfelschorle, was ist das? Was ist das? Schon? Uh, yeah, not only, you see, Apfelsaft und und Wasser. So it is, um, uh, how to say, a mixture between water and Apfelsaft. And uh, this water is normally here with gas, also sprudel. So it is a bit sparkling apple juice, something like that. Yeah? And not so sweet because it is uh, with water a little bit diluted. And aha! <laughs> aha means what? <laughs> aha! Oh, I got it, huh? Guck mal, was Endo trinkt. Hmm? They are sitting around the table and then they, ah, look here, what Andrew is drinking. Tea? 
Ha, funny, eh? no beer, very strange eh? in German uh, associations. <laughs> and especially when you look at the picture between the students, among the students it is very unusual, <laughs> yes. Unfortunately, eh? there is no party without beer, also seldom at least. And um, sometimes it is a real problem when they don't know where to finish, right? <laughs> So, you should know where are your limits. Huh? Nothing to say against a glass of beer, but when it is too much, not so good. Huh? Was there a question right now? No, I thought that's how that was. Okay, so that is about uh, drinks. So now we go to the food. Speisen. Speisen. Also, here maybe two can read the dialogue. Um, who can do this? Who has a nice voice? <laughs> Michelle and and um, Jason. So again, have a look, get a range what you have to say. Try to figure out how you pronounce it. <laughs> Think of all the pronunciation rules you know. And then, yeah. How is it? Can start? Prepared? <laughs> we all help. We all help. Don't worry. Okay. Wer möchte anfangen, Jason? Michelle, was monsters do as a... Here she made alles good. Und ich nehme den Salat mit Siegen Käse. Ich habe nicht so großen Hunger. Hunger. <laughs> yeah, you both not so united with the Hunger. It is Hunger, of course. You know the vowels, same as in Malay, you pronounce it as you see them, okay, and not as you see it. English eyes. Eh? The English way of looking at it is different. Okay, so what does that mean all? Ja. Ich weiß noch nicht. Hm. I don't know yet. Ich weiß noch, noch nicht ist not yet. Was schmeckt denn gut? Schmecken. What could that be in the contest of food? Taste, yes. What does taste nice? Eh? What, has, what, has, what is tasty? And the den, you know the den? The den is a German la. Yeah? What is tasty? La. <laughs> it's uh, just, uh, um, how to say, to make it more personalized and to make it more urgent. <laughs> Here schmeckt alles gut. No problem. Hier schmeckt alles gut? Hier? Ja, everything tastes good. Ich habe großen Hunger. Ich nehme Fleisch. Hm? Yes? Ich nehme Fleisch. Ich nehme, wie heute yesterday, right? Ich nehme so Fleisch. Meat, yeah. Ich, I take meat. And Jason? <laughs> and I take the salad with. Yeah, with a kind of cheese. Yeah, the ziegel is goat. Goat cheese. It is more, um, yeah, it is coming more from the Mediterranean area. <coughs> so it is uh, sweeping over to Germany. And. Um, that is something like feta cheese. You know that maybe? You can get it here as well. So this kind of cheese, yeah? Ich habe nicht so großen Hunger. So he takes only a salad. Yeah, because ich habe nicht so großen Hunger, not so big hunger. I don't have such a big hunger. 
Yeah, so this is at the beginning, right? When you read the menu, you check out what is there and what, how big is your hunger, <laughs> and then you choose. Okay? Understand everything? You can pick up something for your own dialogues afterwards. You can also create others. That is also <coughs> student made, so it's just a, a, how to say, an incentive huh? <laughs> in the, and the motivation also to create something. All right? So let's go to the next one, während des Essens. So while you are eating, they also talk about the food. So what do they say here? Um, again, who want to read? Alexander, you can read. And Miss U? Okay. This is a very short one. Schmeckt das dir? Oh, yeah. Sehr gut. Es ist sehr lecker. Mustest du probieren? Ja, ein bisschen lecker. Und dein Essen? Das ist auch sehr gut. Aber ich schaffe nicht aus. Ja, es ist sehr gut. Andrew, Andrew hat schon alles aufgegessen. Yes, this is a difficult word. Tatsächlich means really? Is it true? In fact? <laughs> yeah, um, it's not so clear here because of the light, right? They have here's a salad. You see how big the whole plate is full. Huh? So, and uh, they think they have only a small salad and then they get such a big plate. Yeah, okay, what they say about the food? <coughs> yeah, schmeckt this dir? Also, do you like it? Yeah, um, yeah sehr gut. Es ist sehr lecker. Möchtest du probieren? Hmm? Say it simply loud, Freddy. Yeah, that is the last one. Maybe you'll start at the beginning. <laughs> yes, very good. Yes. It <coughs> delicious. Lecker is delicious, yeah. And the last one then? Would you like to try? Yes. Yeah, ein bisschen. Mmm, lecker. <laughs> Here then. What does it mean? Yeah, one bite. A little bit, yeah. Ein bisschen Deutsch, you know. We have said that before. Uh, also a little bit. Mmm, lecker. So after tasting, he says, mmm, delicious. Maybe they should put here noch ein hmm, then <laughs> better understand. Und dein Essen? So, and your food, then you look at your food. Das ist auch sehr gut, aber ich schaffe nicht alles. Hm. Ich schaffe nicht alles. Hm. Ich schaffe nicht alles. So much. Yes. Yes, Jason, say it loud. Das ist auch sehr gut. That is very good. Very yes. But? But I cannot finish everything. Yes. So the portion is too big. Huh? Ja, yeah, es ist sehr viel. Andrew hat schon alles aufgegessen. Aha. And Andrew? Aufgegessen comes from Essen and Aufessen means to finish everything. So he has already finished everything. I must help you a little bit with this because that is perfect tense and this is what we don't have yet here in this level. Okay? Also the last sentence. And du hat schon alles aufgegessen. He has finished already everything. Tatsächlich, wow, really? <laughs> Astonished. 
that he could manage to finish everything. So now it's your turn, right? The next one is already the payment. So before we go to payment, we uh, go normal in your groups and you create dialogues, also um, something like this. You look first in the menu, you order, you eat. And then we stop first and see what, how we do the payment in German and then we do the second part. Okay? You choose uh, guest, how many guests? <laughs> okay, my ladies. <laughs> Listen, please. Speak uh, clearly, yeah, loud and clearly. Was I cannot really clap my hands, sorry. <laughs> so the uh, pronunciation here and there, I did not get all the word. It should be hunger and durst for those who are coming next. Yeah, Hunger and durst. U is U, eh? not A or the U uh or something. Huh? So, um, yes. I think one was a little bit uh, mixed. I think you ask and give this at the same time the answer. With um, was möchtest du trinken? And you said you, ich weiß noch nicht. That should be another person saying uh, the answer to that question. Yeah, but that is okay. So far what I heard just now. Hi, danke schön. So next one. Is Hanschen in Kostika but Butter rice, Butter rice, I guess, should that be? Butter rice. Then, I make sour and Wow. Do you pronunciation okay then I noticed uh, I noticed also some upset downs in the genders then I noticed that the waitress is talking informally with the guests do you know them very well <laughs> it's already <laughs> Or as they come every day, maybe. 
<laughs> yeah, but so far the content is correct so far, yes. Danke schön. So when you do uh, maybe a bit uh, practice for the oral next week, please work on your pronunciation, yeah? Otherwise your, your partners will have a big problem to understand what you say, okay? Okay, next one, Sean, Freddy and uh, Alexander. Was machst das du essen? Uh, ich habe große Hunger. Ich nehme ein Ringfleisch. Oh, ich nehme das Fleisch. Ich habe nicht gro so großen Hunger. Was machst das du denn trinken? Mm, ich möchte einen Karten sein. Und du? Mm, ich trinke ein Bier. Guten Tag. Was möchten Sie essen? Oh, ich möchte ein Schnitzel haben. Ich möchte die Wiesbedelle. Und was möchten Sie trinken? Ich trinke einen. Ich möchte noch den Karten Was Möchten Sie den Karten Ja, das ist alles. Okay. Ich wiederhole die Wiesbedelle. Ein Chineser Hawaii, die Wiesbedelle, ein Karten Saft und Rich und ein Bier. Ich musste einen tollen Brot. Schmeckt es dir? Ja, es ist sehr lecker. Was ist das für Okay, ich wollte einen tollen Brot und eine Fische Gulags. Was darf ich bringen? Bringen Sie mir eine mehr frische Salat und eine Apfel. Was schmeckt auch gut? Ich empfehle deutsche Frikadelle. Es ist sehr ausgebaut. Ja, ich nehme das. Danke. Was möchten Sie essen? Ich habe nicht so gute Hunger. Ich habe eine deutsche Wurzelle und was habe ich auch? Ja, danke schön. Also, very good. One uh, complaint I have, I think I, I did, I hear, uh, sorry, I heard that in several groups already. You don't say I have, ich habe this and this dish. We learned yesterday, I think, two or three versions, right? How do you order? Not I have. What are the ways you order food? Ich nehme oder ich möchte. Yes, oder ich bestelle, ja, yeah? I order, okay, so have, don't want, okay, that is the only one I have to complain, <laughs> okay, danke schön, and last but not least, the last group. Du weißt noch nicht, was schmeckt dein Buch? Hier schmeckt alles gut. Ich möchte Fisch und Korn, Fisch und du. Ich habe nicht so Hunger. Ich nehme gemischte Seile. Hm. Haben Sie noch einen Wunsch? Oh ja, ich möchte ein fruchtetes Eis. Und du? Ich probiere ein Reis aus. Okay. Vielen Dank. Ja, ich bin auch ein Danke. Danke. Thank you. Thank you. May I just ask Panya Rasi, what did you order as dessert? That is not a dessert, isn't it? Butter rice is rice. Like a nasi minyak. Okay, okay. So, and uh, the dessert comes in, in delay uh, when you order all at once um, frittiert this ice already melt. <laughs> yeah, okay, danke schön. Yeah, you did quite well. So now you bakan all, yeah, you eat and eat, essen, essen. So now, <laughs> and we come to the payment then. Okay, it takes a bit of time. So. And 
Yeah, should come. Ah, yeah, there is it. Okay, that was our last slide. So I go straight away to the next one. Uh, yeah, danke schön. So this one is a simple one, which is direct uh, coming after the order which we had just now here from the slides. Also done by this um, language uh, center students. And this is also the Bezahlen Dialog. Um, yeah, must not read by myself, right? Mr. Fung and 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 um, Jindy. Must practice pronunciation. <laughs> It is not a question. You give the money. Bitte. Bitte. as well. So, also, how do we indicate to the waiter or the waitress that we want to pay? What do we say? Ich möchte zahlen. Ich möchte bitte bezahlen. Oder ich möchte die Rechnung bitte. Ja, die Rechnung, the bill. Die Rechnung bitte. Ich möchte die Rechnung bitte. Ah, the bill, please. Okay. So then um, the waiter is coming. He says the amount das macht. That means that makes all together this amount of money, 13.50. Right? And then you give him the money. Bitte. So uh, the waiter here is short on change, yeah? so on coins. So he is asking, haben Sie 50 cent? Because it makes 13.50, right? So haben Sie 50 cent? Nein, leider nicht. No, unfortunately not. Yeah? Leider is unfortunately not. Nun gut, okay, what to do, right? <laughs> Nun gut is, well, not, cannot change anything here. Hier ist ihr Wechselgeld. So, what could that mean? Receipt? No, not yet. That is not the receipt. The change. Yes. So, hier ist your change. <coughs> Vielen Dank. Oder danke schön. Danke. Anything which any thanks. Right? So, that is a very simple one. No, not much to talk about. Right? You understand that. So, that... Uh, we have some other problems when we want to pay. So you had all two guests, right? You had all two or more than two guests. So the question will come up like this. So first, uh, when you look at the cartoon, <laughs> um, it is a play with the words, not really related to our <laughs> topic, but I just found it uh, and it is related to the words here. Um, zahlen, yeah, so he's asking, zahlen, getrennt, the waiter is asking, getrennt, and then she is not very happy, yeah? she said, na prima, weiß es der Koch auch schon? What could that be? Weiß es der Koch auch schon? Just now you used, ich weiß noch nicht, yeah, so what is weiß? No. Ah, or it could be put the color, right? Mm. So, but here it is no. Weiß es der Koch auch schon? That der Koch is the cook, the, the chef. Does the chef also know it already? So what does he know? She's not happy, eh? Must. Yes. So she relates it to their relationship. <laughs> so 
she is asking, uh, does the cook also know it already that we are separated? <laughs> because he is asking. When the waiter is asking it, does the cook also know it already? So <laughs> she is not happy about that, right? So, but uh, <laughs> we are not talking about relationships here. Eh? We are talking about how to pay. But it is about getrennt oder zusammen. Zahlen bitte, yeah, that is how you can call the waiter. Geht das getrennt oder zusammen, the waiter will say. Does that go together or, uh, sorry, uh, separate or together? Getrennt bitte oder, ne, you choose zusammen bitte, either one. Yeah, these are so small uh, things which you should know. These two words here, getrennt oder zusammen. Huh? Separate or together, <coughs> how you want the bill. How is that? How do you do that here normally? Let's say you go out with friends, with your clique. So you go out, do you pay all one by one? Yes. The waitress get crazy? <laughs> or do you pay together? One person pay for all and later. Ah, so later. <laughs> ah, okay, how do you do? Is that? Yeah, I said just now, with friends, you go out with friends, with your clique. Most of the time, or? Oh, I see. Okay. But um, I think we, when I think backwards to my time in Germany, when uh, we went out with a clique, uh, we changed, we roulette, you know. So one day you pay, the other day the other one pay. So when it is a very big difference in the amount, okay, we cover up, yeah. But normally we rotate, lah. It's not so messy. <laughs> Only one pays. But uh, usually when you don't know the people so well, right, with the, you go out with, you pay by your own, yeah. Oder they say extra, you are invited, okay, then we don't say anything, right? <laughs> but <laughs> when, you, when they don't especially mention it, then we pay by our own, especially for ladies, ne? not that they might think you must pay back in another way or something, yeah? So, so better be on the safe side and pay by your own. Okay, we are all now emancipated. <laughs> so, the next one. The next one is? Wie bezahlen Sie? Just now was what do we pay? Do we pay all or do we pay only our part? But now it's how. So you have two choices again. This one is the cash, right? Bar. And this one is with the credit card. Mit Kreditkarte. So here again you choose what you want. So the, uh, this one would be the question from whom? From the waiter or from the guest? The waiter. Okay, I don't put here the, wait, uh, the guest's answer because you choose, right? Either one. Ich zahle bar oder ich zahle mit Kreditkarte. And another one, how is this with tips? Trinkgeld. Trinkgeld is in German tip. And how do we do that? So I took the, as a sample the amount from just now, 13 euro 50 cent. And when you have it exactly, the money fitting, then you say here, bitte, stimmt so. Oder? Ja? And you use it as well when you have, let's say, you have 15 euro, one ten and one five euro note, and you want to give one fifty tip. Then you say also, stimmt so. That means it's correct like that. I don't expect the change. Hmm. Yeah, so you have more than you have to pay, and you say it's okay like that. Okay? 
So, the rest is then for the waiter. And she will definitely say, Dankeschön. And they say, Bitteschön. <laughs> okay? And another way is when you don't have. Um, yeah, when, uh, sorry, it's another way to say that you don't expect a change. Machen Sie 15. Let's say you have a bigger note only, you have 20 euro. Yeah, 20 euro. So you say, okay, 20 uh, is a bit much cheaper <laughs> from 13, 50 to 20. So you say, okay, machen Sie 15. Yeah, also um, change, give me the change back, count collated to 15 euro. Then you give the same amount as here, but you will get here a change of 5 euro, right? In the example when you have 20. Yeah? So that are the two ways you can deal with trinket. This one, when you have the money which you, the amount which you want to give him, already done, or when you don't have the uh, a smaller amount in your hands, only a bigger note, then you do it like this. So these are the two ways. So then uh, I think now it's on you to go back to your groups and figure out how you want to pay and how much tip you want to give. You have the, you have, you can calculate, you have the prices also. Only the drinks you have to aga aga skip. <laughs> but the, the prices of the food you have there in original. <laughs> yeah, so you go back to your groups and do this paying dialogue. That is not so long. So this goes faster. Okay? Das much rising oil. Zalenzi bar with a bit of credit card. It's Zalen bar. Yeah, I do this, I shrink the Do this, I shrink the Restaurant, also Knigge for the restaurant. You know what is Knigge? Knigge is a book. <laughs> By right, it was uh, the name of the author, it is the name of the author who created it the first time. And Knigge is now a, uh, nowadays a book which contains all the do's and don'ts 
for the real good well class people that high class people yeah how do you behave at special places venues occasions and what you should do and what you should do what you don't do and this hello just now alfred it means maybe here okay but it is very rude <laughs> sorry to say that but hello to uh, to ask the waiter to come with a hello is very rude <laughs> yeah, pity on fatty. Yes. <laughs> so you better um, say um, bitte. You show hand or you you make eye contact that she is coming, um, or you say bitte. Or can I ask you something? Then uh, is that is the right way. Can you see etwas fragen, or simply to say bitte? Bitte. So maybe with a quotation, exclamation mark, so in the gesture, maybe that she will come. Oder noch lagi best. Um, kann ich sie etwas fragen? Ja, when the waitress or the waiter pass by your, your, your table, then you can say that. Kann ich sie etwas fragen? Can I ask you something? And then... Uh, you uh, can ask, can I please get the bill? Yeah, that is uh, the better way. Okay, just uh, for that occasion or the chance maybe you have one day to go to Germany to eat in a <coughs> higher class restaurant, then you do like that. <laughs> okay, yeah, and with this, with this, we can only so say Dankeschön oder Wiedersehen und bitte kommen Sie wieder. Bitte kommen Sie wieder, right? And uh, maybe, maybe in the next set. <laughs> okay, so uh, this was our semester, Deutsch for beginners. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy a bit and you learned something and you can use it one day when you go to Germany so that is the first survival kit right <laughs> how to be nice to people how to do some little small talks how to survive in restaurants right how to go makan <laughs> so I think uh, when you want to continue next time you can do that you are both welcome I hope you do that also I really love you all <laughs> it's really nice to have you as students and I hope we can do some more in the next time. Thank you, danke schön, auf Wiedersehen und tschüss. <laughs>